Hi, today I'm going to show you how to make the easiest barbecue spare ribs that I know how to make. Very simple. Time consuming, yes, as far as duration, but not as far as how much time you actually put into it, just waiting time for them to cook. Here I've got a whole rack of ribs, you can see. I've got a pan full of my favorite barbecue sauce and some tin foil. And an oven, that's all you really need. Okay, what we're going to do is we're going to separate every one of these ribs. It just makes it easier and funner to eat that way. Now, if you're a fan of doing threes, fours, whatever you want to do, it really doesn't matter. But in my house, we like to handle each individual bone and just suck the meat off of each one. So that's what I'm going to do is chop them up into singles. Uh, at this point, you want to get your uh, oven going. Preheat it at 300 degrees, and we'll talk about that more here in just a minute. Okay, there I'll chop them all up into singles. So you can see, now we're going to move them to the barbecue sauce. Now I usually just coat the bottom of the pan, put a nice thin layer on there, and uh, just turn these over a few different times, and then I add more barbecue sauce as needed. Okay, it doesn't get any easier than this. Just get them all in your damn pan, cover them with barbecue sauce, and then uh, roll to the oven. I give them a good roll. Each one's evenly soaked and covered. Now, I would recommend that you do meat side down, more the bone side up, through the main process of the cooking, in the two and a half hours at least. Okay, we're going to go a full three hours of cooking in that oven. Two and a half hours are going to be face down, and then the last half hour, we're going to pull the tin foil off the top that I'm going to cover here in just a minute, and we're going to let 30 minutes of cooking of dry heat, specifically just over the top of the the meat so you can get a nice good sear, a good crispness over the top of these uh, these ribs, okay? But when we get to that point, uh, we'll be adding a little bit of barbecue sauce or whatnot, and uh, we'll show you how it goes from there. At this point, we're going to throw a tin foil over the top and go ahead and throw it in the oven. To the oven, 300 degrees, two and a half hours. Easy as that, right? Now, let me mention one thing. Do not fill this pan with this barbecue sauce to the brim when you've got those ribs in there. If it's full, you need to empty it. At least take out a lot of that sauce. The important thing is, is to make sure it doesn't overflow as it's cooking because a lot of juice is going to come out of that ribs and you're going to have a huge mess in that oven. That being said, two and a half hours on the clock. We'll check it back then. All right, we've got two and a half hours on the clock. These things have been cooking. Let's go ahead and yank these bad boys out. Get you to have a peek at them. First thing we're going to want to do when we pull this tin foil off is we're going to want to strain it. We're going to want to take all that juice out. Okay. I'm just going to pour it right into that bowl right there. Okay. Now just like that, all I do is uh, fill up that bowl with all the juice from this pan. Now this isn't something you want to use to completely baste over the top of these ribs anymore because it's got so much juice and fat from the ribs cooking out of it. I actually just like to use this in preparing a dirty rice. If you want, you can just discard it and check it. But now, it's the last half hour of cooking these, so what we want to do is flip these over, which I've already done, expose the meat to the top side, and then we're just going to put barbecue sauce right over the top of them. Good to go. Just evenly coated like that through the whole thing. And back to the oven for another 30 minutes. And this will uh, kind of caramelize and put a nice little crispness on them because the meat's already about falling off the bone. They're already cooked the way we want them, but now we just want them crispy. 30 minutes. All right, let's go ahead and pull these. It's been a half an hour. Already killed the heat. As you can see, these are good to go. Not too shabby, huh? All right. Just to prove it here, let's pull a couple ribs here. Just to show you how tender these things are.
Let's take that fork right in there. Look at that. Just peels apart. Mmm. So good. That's what you're looking at right there. And there you have it. Barbecue spare ribs. Easiest way I know how to make it. Poor man's gourmet kitchen.